Okay. Tov. Today's daf is daf Kuf Vav in Yavamas. We learned for four shlem piyos of Azriel ben Chaim Michal and Alazar ben Reuma. <clears throat> right from the top of the page. First word on the page. Daf Kuf Vav. Tan Rabbanan. Chalitza mutas kshera. A chalitza that was done under false pretenses. It was, they faked him out. They faked him out. They, they connived to get him to do the chalitza. It's still kosher. It's kosher. It's a good chalitza. And she's free to marry. Ezui chalitza mutas. What's an example? That amashlakesh kosher omlo chalots uvekacha tekonsa. They tell him, listen, oh, you want to marry her? Uh, she wants chalitza. He doesn't want to give her a chalitza. So they tell, they, they fool him. He, he's an Amar, it's obviously. And they tell him, if you give her chalitza, that's how you marry her. He didn't know. He's, yeah. he's an Amar. And he said, oh, you know, you have to marry the Yavama. Give her chalitza, then you're married. Let's say they tell him that. Only Rabbi Yochan said to Rishlokesh, so Rabbi Yochan said to Rishlokesh, that's a kosher chalitza? I Shana, we learned this before. Whether he had intention for chalitza and she did not. Or whether she had intention for the chalitza and he didn't have intention. Chalitza subsula, it's a puzzle chalitza. Again, chalitza subsula means that she can't marry the brothers anymore, any of the brothers, but she's not free to marry the shuk. So they both have to kavana for real chalitza. Now you're telling me that this works even he he had kavana to marry her. Not to give her, not not to leave, not that she should leave, but rather he should marry her. So how can you say that's a kosher chalitza? It's possible they both have to have kavana for chalitza. So if uh, she has kavana for chalitza and he thinks he's marrying her via this uh, process of removing the shoe, etc. So how could you say that that's a kosher chalitza? Here's the thing. Chalitza cannot have a condition attached to it. Cannot have a condition attached to it. Let's say they tell him, give her chalitza. If you give her chalitza, she'll give you $200. It's a good chalitza because the condition doesn't mean anything. Rashi explains that remember, we learn all, all the rules of conditions. We learn from Tanai Ben Egod and Tanai Ben Reuben. One of the things that we learn out throughout Shas, Tanai God has to work both ways. You have to say, if you do this, I will give you so and so will happen. And if you don't do it, so and so will happen. That's called that's called the Tanai Kuffel. It's got to be a double condition. But another condition is to be just like Moshe appointed Yoshua as a Shliach to divide up the country, it has to be something that you could do as a shliach. Yoshua did it bishlichas. Chalitza cannot be done as a shlichas. You can't have, you can't send the shliach to do the chalitza, right? They can't do the chalitza, she can't do the chalitza on somebody else and say, uh, okay, I'm taking it off the shoe from this guy and, you know, it should, it should count for my husband. You know, having in mind the husband or a different woman do it, that doesn't work. There's, there's no shlichas there. Therefore, any condition attached to it in other words, since since you can't do a shlichas, since you can't can have a shliach, therefore there, there can be no conditions. Conditions can only be placed in the way, same manner that conditions when they divided up Eretz Yisrael that you could have done it with a shliach. Since it can't be done with a shliach here, conditions are meaningless. Therefore, therefore, if they tell the guy, listen, you give a chalitza, fine, and he doesn't want to. So, okay, give a chalitza, she'll give you $200. He gives her the chalitza, even if she doesn't give her the, the, the money, he doesn't have to give the money because the condition is, doesn't work. So therefore, it's, I give an example, shita. Let's say uh, a proper shochet shechts an animal, and it's kosher. But he says, I only want it to be chal if my son gets a good grade on his exam today. Otherwise, I don't want it to be a good shita. You can't make a condition or something. Like certain things don't work, condition doesn't work. Here also, the condition doesn't work. So it's zuz. That's an example of a chalitza mutas done under false presumption. They told him, he didn't want to do the chalitza. She needed chalitza to get free to marry. So they told him, give her chalitza and she'll pay you for it. He does, she doesn't have to pay him for it at all. What's an example of a chalitza that was connived or that was mistaken? So they tell her, give her chalitza. They should give you 200 zuz. And you don't have to. And you don't actually have to give the money. There's a story with a woman. Who fell yibum to a yibum? She ate her hagen. He wasn't fit for her. She didn't want to marry him. But Amula she ain't hagen law. But Amula they told him chalotz like give her chalitza. I'm an ashet tit lacham zaimzuz. He wanted to marry her, and they said no. Give her chalitza. She'll pay you for it. Obama is lefnei rabchia beachshir, and he goes machshirit. Even if they don't pay the money, the, the condition falls aside because you can't make a condition on chalitza. So therefore, that's a good chalitza. 
You can't do chalitza, making the guy think that by this chalitza, he's going to marry her because then he didn't have kavana really. He didn't have the right kavana. Chalitza has to have kavana that he's getting rid of her, right? That she's going to he's freeing her up to, to marry. But he could make a condition. They could make a condition and say, she'll pay you for it, even though you don't actually pay it. Another story. Who would also come in Rafiya Baraba? Story, a lady came before, a man came before Rafiya Baraba. I'm a law, BTMODI. Man came before uh, Rafiya Baraba and he wanted to perform Yibam. So, Amr Allah, he told the woman, the Yavama, BT, my daughter, Amodi, stand up. Two ways to learn Shan Rashi. Rashi's first bet is get up and he's going to make Yibam now. Go, you know, go get up and make Yibam. Apparently, they came to court. And don't forget, if they both want to make Yibam, you really don't have to go to court, right? You don't have to go to court. You can just make his Miyabam her. And that's it. He marries her. But apparently, there was a dispute. That's why they came to court. And um, so he says, Why don't you want to get married to her? Amr Allah, BT, Amodi, stand up and make Yibam. Amr Allah, Ima, Rashi's gear says that it's her mother. Her mother said, Yeshivasa Zuya Midasa, better for her to sit down. In other words, her sitting down is um, Yeshiva, her sitting down is, is the best thing for her. In other words, better for her not to marry this guy. The mother didn't want her to marry this guy. So Ima Yeshivasa is Zuya Midasa. Amr Allah, yeah, another shot in Rashi is that uh, stand up. And it turned out she couldn't stand up because she, she had a uh, blemish. Uh, she had something wrong with her foot. She was uh, amputated or whatever. She couldn't stand up. So she didn't want to marry him. You know him? I know the guy. He saw some money. He saw that my family has money. The girl is now saying, I don't want to marry this guy. I know what he wants. He wants to marry me. So he should take my money and then he'll divorce me. He wants to consume all my assets and then he'll throw me out. I don't want to marry him. Lo uh, No, I don't want to marry him. You, you lo necha lecha. You don't. Amr lei lo. Amr lei. So he told the husband chalotzla. He told her give her chalitza ubekach atakonsa. He insisted on marrying her. Now we just said before that that doesn't work. If you tell him that give her chalitza and thereby you will be married, that doesn't work. But what happened here? Let's see what happened. Amr lei chalotzla ubekach atakonsa. Give her chalitza. That's how you marry her. The boss of the chalitz after he gave her the chalitza which wasn't a good chalitza, as we said, because he thought he was marrying her thereby. Now she can't marry you anymore, as we said yesterday and the day before, that a chalitza psula means that she still needs another chalitza to free her to marry, but she can't marry the other anymore or the brothers. So she's already a chalitza, chalitza now that she's puzzled to you, you have no option now. You can't marry her anymore, even though that wasn't a good chalitza. Why? Because you didn't have the right intention. But you gave her a chalitza psula, so you can't marry her anymore. Give her a proper chalitza, chalitza must give her a good chalitza, the so she should be able to get married to somebody else. Now, he may not, he may not have wanted to do it after he was fooled. He may not want to do this, but apparently the court had some sway over him and forced him to do it until he agreed. We'll talk about that forcing him until he agreed. Another story. Basmudra Papa, Rapapa's sister-in-law, his father-in-law's uh, da- a daughter. Another story where she fell to Yavim and there wasn't, he wasn't fit for her. They came for Abaya. Amr Lei. So Abaya said, So Abaya understood the situation that she wasn't, she didn't want to marry the guy and he didn't want to give her chalitza. He said, Hello, give her chalitza. And that's, this is how you marry her. Don't you hold what Rabbi Yochanan said above that that doesn't work. Rabbi Yochanan said, until they both have a proper mind for chalitza, it doesn't work. So this isn't the proper chalitza. When you tell him, give chalitza, and there, that's how you will acquire her. So Abaya said to her papa, so what should I say? So what should I say? Tell her, tell him, give her chalitza on the condition that she'll pay you, she'll give you 200 zuz. So he agreed to that, and he gave her chalitza with the intention of chalitza, but the intention of getting money. zil So they told. So Abayi said, "Okay, give him the money now." He told Abayi said to the uh, to the Obama, zil go, give him the money. Amalei. So my Papa said, "No, mishata ani bach All she did was from she was fooling him. She was allowed to because he was not a nice person. He didn't want to give her chalitza when she demanded it, and we had to tell him." Give her chalitza on the condition that you're going to get the money. So we were just, uh, we weren't serious about the money. 
and in that, and therefore she's not she's not required to give the money as we said above. Milo Tanya, did we not learn? A man was escaped jail from the Goyim. He was running away from jail. And there was a ferry in front of him. He was running. The Goyim were chasing him. They wanted to take him back to jail. And he came to a river and there was a ferry there. And the uh, Amr and he said to the ferry master, Tool Diner, take a dinner, which is a lot of money. A dinner was a lot of money for a ride on the ferry. Vavi uh, and take me across the river. After he takes him across the river, all he's entitled to is the regular whatever a token normally costs to, to, uh, for the ferry. Even though he promised him a lot of money, he's only entitled to Alma, Alma, Le Mishatani Bach. He just said, listen, I was just fooling you because I was just trying to get you to take me. I was in a difficult situation. I wanted to get out of it. I wasn't serious. Uh, here also, he was just fooling him to, in order because he was acting Shaloka Hogan, as we say. If he's not acting nicely, we won't act nicely. We'll tell him, you don't want to give Khalid, so give Khalid, so we'll pay you for it. Even if you don't pay him, it's okay. So Abaya was a little bit taken aback by Rav Papa, who corrected him about two things. He corrected him about Chalotso Bakachat HaKonsa, and Rav Papa said, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't fool him to say, give her Chalitza, and that's how you'll marry her. And then he corrected him about the money. So he felt a little bit taken aback. Where is your father live? He said to Rav Papa, where's your father? Amalei B'Masa, here in town. Where's your mother? Live on the bus here in town. He gave them the, the evil eye and they died. Meaning, he figured this you're such a sharp man because your needs are taken care of. Your parents must support you because you're so sharp and you have all these alakas in your head. So <laughs> it's one of these things that it's hard to understand. He didn't mean to kill them probably, but he gave them the evil eye and that's what happens sometimes. Who's the who here? Abaya gave, Abaya gave the evil eye to Papa's parents. Right? Um, where's your father? Says, uh, obviously, uh, you, you, he says, You must have a father and a mother right nearby who has to give all your supplies. Therefore, you don't have to worry about business or making a living. Apparently, you have a good kolo check and you don't have to worry about anything, and that's why you're so sharp. And uh, his parents died. As we just said before at the top of the page, a chalitza that's done under false pretenses, meaning promised her to pay for it, that's kosher. Get muta puzzle. A get that's given under false pretenses is puzzle. Now, what's the difference? As we said before, Rashi says it over here too, more clearly. Rashi says, because the chalitza we said cannot be done on yidei shliach. Therefore, it doesn't fit into the rules of making conditions. The conditions don't apply. If you give chalitza, you can't say, give chalitza on the nasa, you're going to pay me. And then you don't have to pay because the condition is meaningless. By a get, though, it does work because a get could be given by a messenger, right? Uh, uh, me, uh, the, the chalitza has to be done with the husband of the Yavam and the Yavama. You can't have a shliach do, the, do, do it. Therefore, it doesn't fit into the rules of conditions of like we learned from Tamai Begad Tamai Rubain. Therefore, the conditions don't apply. But by get, since it could be done with a shliach, as we know, you learn get and you're going to send a get, uh, you maybe get Pino Siyam. You send, you tell two guys, write a get and give it to his wife, that's valid. And therefore, if you say, give a get to my wife on the condition that she's going to give me the $200. Right? If he doesn't pay the 200, if she doesn't pay him the $200, it's not a get. So a get that was under false deception is puzzle. It's not a good get. Again, when we say get puzzle, what does that mean? She can't marry Cohen anymore, but she's not free to marry. Again, puzzle means that in the case of Chalitza, she's not free to marry the brothers anymore, but she's it, but she's also not free to get married until she has a proper chalitza. And same thing with a get. It's not a good get. She can't get married with it, but, um, but she's still possible from marrying a coin subsequently, even if she gets a good get afterwards. Chalitza ma'usis psula. A chalitza that was forced is possible. Get ma'usa kosher. A get that's forced is okay. So Umar says, what's going on over here? What do you mean forced? Hey, chidami. Idam arot saniki says, I, I consent to give it. Afi wa chalitza nami. He consents to give it. You tell him, listen, you better give her a get. You know, the person puts a little pressure on him, but he agrees to do it. So chalitza should also be okay. Why do you say that chalitza ma'usas is puzzle? The lo amaros, and if he doesn't agree to it, so get nami lo. If he doesn't agree to it, get is also no good if he doesn't agree to it. So it's hachikam, this is what it means. Chalitza mutas lo lam kosher. A chalitza that was done under false pretenses, let's say with the condition of payment, that's always kosher. The payment doesn't mean anything. The condition is meaningless. The get muta lo lam puzzle. A get that was given under the condition, under a pretense that he's going to get paid for it. If he doesn't get paid, if the condition is not fulfilled, he gets no good. Chalitza ma'usa, forget ma'usa, either chalitza that was forced or a get that was forced, 
Din the kosher is an impossible. Both of them, it depends on the condition. Sometimes they're kosher, sometimes it's possible. Adam or Rotsani, if he agrees, if he agrees to it, then it's kosher. If he doesn't agree to it, he's forced. You can't force somebody to give a get. If you force him and he doesn't say Rotsani, then it's not a good get. So Bezdin's today who try to put pressure on him, it's very complicated. They have to do it in the right way. If you just take a gun to your uh, you know, brother-in-law that's married to your sister or something like that and try to tell him, listen, give her a get, you, you know, you bad fella, <laughs> and you force him, it's not a good get. So as we say, if he didn't say Rotsani, it's not a valid get. The Tanya, as we see, Yakrivo, so the Pasik says Yakrivo, so I'm bringing a carbon Ola. Now, in my Gemara, it says, I'm guessing that the, uh, the Schottenstein or the, um, the art scroll probably has it corrected. It's in Vayikra Aleph, right? What do you have there? Is this on the side there? Say Vayikra. Huh? Vayikra Aleph. Aleph, yeah. And now the older Gemara say Chafbeis. It's really in Aleph. It's the Perak Aleph, Mishnah, uh, Pasik Gimel. It says, Yakrivo, so. He will be, Yakrav means he will be forced. Like your Yakrav is causative. You, you'll bring, you'll cause him to bring a carbon. Lamed Shem Chofen also, we force him to bring a carbon if it's required. And Yachol Baal Kochen might think against his will, Tamar Lomelech Sono, that it's got to be according to his will. He's got to willingly do it. Okay, it's the Kofen Osa Hashem Oros, and as we had many places in Shas, you force him until he agrees to it. V'chein at the Motza B'Gitenoshim, Kofen Osa Hashem Oros, and he also, the same thing by Gitenoshim, that it force him until he says, I agree. Why? Because we, you might say, is he really being forced? He really wants to do the right thing. Every Jew wants to do the right thing by God. So when he says, I agree to it, we, we accept this word. Amar Rav, Amar Rav, Shora, Amar Rav Huna. So Rav says the following thing. Notice Rav says it's the name of Shora, name of Huna, but he himself, Rav himself will disagree. He said the following. Let's say a couple comes forth. They're from out of town. Nobody recognizes them. And they say, uh, easy, she's of them, he's of them. You know, like the Bezins in town takes a long time to get a date, you know. They went online to get a, a date, you know, to, to get a, to book a time at the court, and it was there. So they came from out of town. They went to out of town to some small village where there weren't a lot of people there. And they come and they say, it's a yavim yavim, got a chalitza. But the Bezin doesn't know who they are. They didn't have two dots of hoods in those days. They didn't have no means, any means of identification. So do you give them a, a do, you, do you do chalitza under those circumstances when the Bezin doesn't really know? Maybe... She is, maybe her Yavam is in Afghanistan or someplace, and she just wants to get remarried. So she brings some guy, she hired some guy to pretend that he's the Yavam. So she could say, okay, I got Chalitza, I'm getting married. So what do you do? So Rav Chora, Rav Huna says, Chalitza and Apopisha Mekir. You give him Chalitza even though it, you don't recognize them. Because maybe she's stuck. She wants to be free. Memanin, Apopisha Mekir. And also Mian. What's Mian? We're going to talk about Mian a lot in the, starting tomorrow's daf. We've done Mian Mian's worship. A young girl is married with a with a marriage drop on it. Her father's out of the picture because he had married her once before, off, or he's dead, and her brothers and her, uh, her mother married her off. It's a condition of She can walk away from it, Mian. But do you do the Mian in front of the Bezim? We said Mian has to be in front of a Bezim, or at least in front of two people. Do you do it even though you don't recognize them? So Ravuna says you give Felice even though you don't recognize them. Mian also you give even though there's no you don't recognize them. Fichach, therefore, therefore, if Adam saw the circumstances. It wasn't the Bezdin who gave them like a hetzer. They just performed this chalitz in front of them or performed a meal in front of them. And Bezdin doesn't really know who they are. Therefore, because of that, because of that, if Adam saw this take place, they can't write a document verifying that this lady got chalitz or took me in. That's what he says. Right? You don't write a get chalitz. Get chalitz means so-and-so got chalitza in front of us and she read the psukkim and she spat and she took off the shoe and all that, you, you tell the whole story. You don't write that, Elam came back here, unless you recognize, that's the Adam recognized these people. Maybe the Adam, the Bezin didn't recognize them. But if the, if the Adam didn't recognize them, the Adam can't testify that a proper chalitza took place. Why? Because Bezin does the chalitza even if they don't recognize. Him. So why would Bezin do that? Why would Bezin do that? Because they're in front of him and they're, they're relying on, the, on, on their own uh, goodwill. If she wants to get married and she's not allowed to, she's going to be sinned by God. But you don't write, you don't write a star verifying that they were divorced, uh, that, they, that the chalitza took place or the meal took place. Therefore, the fichach ain't kosen get chalitza, elam came back unless the, unless the Adam recognized them as being yavam and yavama, ain't kosen get meal, elam came back unless you recognize them as husband and wife. The chayshin of the bezantoan, because we're afraid that they'll take this document go to another business. Now she wants to get married to somebody else. They take that and say, look, I got a document that says that Adam saw me get the, the meal or get the chalitza and I'm free to marry. The best then, the best, the other best may not be careful. They may say, oh, okay, uh, 
Presumably, if you have a document that says that, we'll assume it took place and it's all valid. That's no good. Therefore, you don't write such a document because Besden is uh, Besden can perform the even more can perform the chlitz or the mian even if they don't recognize the participants. Rav the day, Rav himself disagrees. He says, no, ain't chalitza mekirin. You don't allow chalitza. Bezdin should not allow a chalitza unless they know who the people are. Otherwise, it could be, uh, she's just playing, she brought some imposter, say, this is my yavim, because she wants to get remarried, and the guy doesn't want to come to give her chalitza. So ain't chalitza mekirin. The aim of in elam gekirin. Also, you don't give me an unless you recognize the Therefore, if you saw it take place, kosim get chalitza. Adam could write against chalitza, because Bezdin would not do it unless they recognize them. Even if the Adam don't recognize it, but they recognize that this man and this woman had a chalitza, or this man and this woman had a miyam. Because we get me an apishem mekirin, but lo chashim le bezdin You're not worried. This way, you don't have to worry about lo chashim. Means you don't have to worry about a bezdin towing. Why? That bezdin is going to make a mistake and marry the wrong. Because bezdin, any bezdin will not do the miyam, will not uh, officiate at the miyam or at the chalitza unless they know the participants. And therefore, if Adam saw it and they write a document to that effect, it's valid. It's valid because. Uh, Bezdin wouldn't have done it unless they recognized them. This is Chalitza. As you have many times in, in shots, this Mishnah would have been better off, you know, at the beginning of, of the, of, but that's what it has many times the order's a little bit off. We talk about me and also, where the me and the, instead of talking at the beginning about me and we talk about other uh, facets of the me and tomorrow, Mrs. Shem. Mrs. Chalitza. How does Mrs. Chalitza? Bahu be a to the best. They come to court. Obviously, they, you know, there's some issue here, right? She wants the Chalitza or he wants to give her Chalitza. They come to court. They must see in the Esau Guinness. And the Besdin gives them proper advice. We had this before. But Karula, they call him to court. Zikne Iro. Remember, we wanted to say maybe Karu and Zikne means that you need uh, four more um, judges there. We said, no, it's telling us this halacha that they call him to court. And Zikne Iro, they give him good advice. The Dibru Eila. The Zikne, we have Karula, we have Zikne and the Dibru showing that they have to give him good advice. The Omeris and she says, now my husband doesn't want my Yavama doesn't want refuses to establish a name for her husband. The Omeris, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to make a name for his brother, which is my husband who died. Um, uh, he doesn't want to be Miyavim. But who Omer and he says, and these are the psukim as we read them. Uh, in the main that's Pasik Zion in Perakhafe. And he says, Okay, that's the same thing. And so to the Dafamid Bays, at the end of the parak, the parak talks about things, certain things can be said in the vernacular, and certain things like certain fields, Shema, whatever, and certain things have to be said in Hebrew. This is one of the things that have to be said in Hebrew. Lashon Akarosh is learned out from the Ansa of Amra. She will say, you know, from Xavier Shavit, the Anwal Abiyam, just like there it's in Hebrew, here it's also in Hebrew. And then they will bring. The, this is Pasuk Tess. They will bring the Yavama to him. The court uh, oversees that. Lainez came in front of his can. V'chol tanalam yaragon. She removes the shoe from his foot. As we said, the right foot. The yarka b'fanim. She spits, not into his face, but across his face, in front of him. Right? Ro kanir They have to be able to see to them. Because it says Laina, they have to be able to see it. V'ansa, and she replies for Amra. Kacha yes, Eliyasha. She'll leave in his face. So shall be done to a man who doesn't want to build his brother's house. Ad kan ha this until this part they dictated. When Rav Horkinus, when he uh, did a story with the chalitza uh, under the tree at Kfaritim, with Gomer's Kolapar Shakula, they said not only those psukim like we say in Vav, uh, in um, Zion Ches and Tes and and Yud but rather they did the whole parsha. They said the whole parsha. Probably Kiesh from Yachm Yachta, they were sort of the whole Pasha, Posik, Hevav, Zion, Ches, Tes, and Yud. They said the whole Pasha. Benikrishma be Yisrael, and then they call it Yisrael, Beis Chalot Sano, Mitzvah Vedayonin, the Mitzvah Vedayonin to say, Benikrishma be Yisrael, Beis Chalot Sano, Velo Mitzvah Tam, not the Tamidim. If you don't mirror, Mitzvah Al Kalom Sham, even Tamidim were sitting in the court, everybody should say, Lomar Chalot Sano, that the shoe has been removed. In other words, Mitzvah to call, to call him out on that. Now the Gemara is going to describe some of this. Mr. Chalitza Kore. So first she calls out, first she reads the words. What does she read? She says, Me'en Yavami. Like we said, Me'en Yavami. Karla is like, never did my love. He doesn't want to. But Kore, then he says, he says, yes. Lo chafatz l'kachta. V'choletz, then she moves the shoe, bro, and she spits. But Kore, then she says, the Pasuk afterwards, what does she say? After she spits, Kachayes al-ish. 
I shall leave in a space. Oh, that's the order. My Kamashma, what's the Kiddush? Must see, we see this all in the Mishnah. Those are exactly the words of the Mishnah. What's the Vira teach me? How Kamashma learn the mitzvah? He says it's a mitzvah to do it that way, but it's not Ma'aki. Mitzvah, the Apach lesson, but if you change the orders, we said before, if, you, if she spat before she removed the shoe, that's also valid. Tanya Rabbi Yochi, Bain Shikin Chalitza Kika, whether the Chalitza took place before the spit, or Bain Shikin Rikika the Chalitza, or uh, whether, whether the Chalitza was before the spit or the spit was before the Chalitza, Masha also see whatever it is, is done. Presumably the Sukkim though have to be read in order, otherwise it doesn't make sense, right? The order is that she says, he doesn't want to be Yab me, and he says, yes, that's true, I don't want to be Yab her, and then they go through the physical actions, and then they say, and then she says, this is what happens, Kachi Yasalish, actually in this base Achav, it doesn't make sense to say Kachav before they've done anything. Okay, um, so Masha Asas, Amr Abay, Haima and Demikri Get Chalitza, when a person is dictating the Get Chalitza, in other words, a lot of the people on Maratzim, they don't know the Sikkim on their own. So what happens? She has to say, Me'ein Yavami, L'Hokim Achav Shem Yisrael, Lo Ova Yavmi. When he dictates the pasuk to her, I'm on the makri get chalitza. Get chalitza here means the process itself. Makri um, chalitza, a makri es ishu b'shas chalitza. When he gives it to her and he tells her what to say, he dictates it to her. So lo likri did I shouldn't say to her lo, and then by itself lechude, like so to speak, with a pause. The ava yabmi lechude. Again, the end of pasuk Zion is lo ava yabmi. So she shouldn't say lo. And then have a pause. I mean, he shouldn't, the dictator should not say lo, and then have a pause and say chafatzi l'kachta, because that sounds like they call him the zibu elo, the amad, the amad lo, and he said no, and then chafatzi l'kachta, like he wants to marry her. So, the mashma of it sounds like he wants to marry her. Ella lo of he should say those three words together. There shouldn't be a pause in between. That's one. Below liquid day, when she, and when he dictates the psukum that the man is supposed to recite, lo, uh, um, Lo lechude, he shouldn't say lo by itself and chafatzi lechude. Chafatzi lechude, he shouldn't say lo by itself and chafatzi by itself. The mashma chafatzi lekachta. He should say lo chafatzi lekachta, right? She she should say lo of yavmi, right? Lo of yavmi. He doesn't. She shouldn't say lo and of yavmi. Sounds like he wants to, and he shouldn't say lo and then chafatzi lachta. It sounds like he wants to take her. Ella lo chafatzi lekachta. Should say it together. Rav Amar Absuki milsi. It's only a pause with Suki milsi lesson, but there's no problem. With a little pause, it doesn't change anything. Ravashi Ashkel of Khan found Khan to Mitzar Umakri Lo, Lo Avayami. He was painfully pushing himself to read it all together, to say, Lo Avayami, say it all together. Don't say Lo and then Avayami, right? It should say, Lo Avayami. He was he was pressing her to say that, Lo Avayami. Amalei Lo Savama Lo the Rava. Don't show what Rava said that a pause is not a problem. Amalei Moda Rava below Avayami. Rava's Moda. By law of Ayabmi, that uh, that it shouldn't, it should, um, you should say them together. Why? Because it could be lo. Could be that he doesn't really refuse and of Ayabmi. So it could be going on the first on the first part. So when it comes to when her recital, then even Rabba's motive that there shouldn't be a pause because it sounds like uh, no, he's not refusing, but rather he wants to marry me. So therefore, even Rabba's motive that in the first case. Where she's reciting the words, she should say lo aviyabmi as one phrase with no break in between. Amar Baya, Haiman the kos of gita lechalitza the chalitza asa lichtov hachi. A man who's writing a get chalitza, this is what he should write. Akrinu ledida, I read to her, I caused her to read min me ein yavami ad 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 aviyabmi. In other words, Abaya said that you don't actually list out all the words in the psukim over here when you write the document. The document that gives her proof that she's been a woman always when she's been I get a chalitza or I get. You always have to give her a document that she can go and take to another court, which allows her to remarry. They usually don't give her the get itself because she might then claim a ksuba twice, et cetera. But they give her some sort of a receipt which says that she's been divorced. And here also you give her a get the chalitza. So when you write it, you don't say, okay, I read to her this whole pasuk. And then I read to him this whole pasuk. You don't list the whole pasuk. You just say it like this. You say, um, because uh, this is what you should write. I read to her I read to her from the beginning of that pasuk. It's not really the beginning of the pasuk; it's the middle of the pasuk. It says, um, "You don't read that whole phrase. You just say, I read to her from Yavami until the end of the pasuk. I read to her from here until here. You don't read the, all the words." Because since there's no sirta, there's no rules on the page, you're not supposed to write 
uh, four words from the Torah without sirtu. So he says, I, I, I read to her, I recited to her, and we told him, the man, uh, in the words, you don't write, you write from low until even though there's only one word in between. Then I recited to her that she, I dictated to her, min kocha from kocha ad chalotzanal. Kochi says, you don't write the whole thing. Kochi says, alisha shelit nes beisachiv beikur shor said chalotzanal. But you rather I, I wrote, to, I read to her, dictated from kocha until chalotzanal. Marzut or masarte. He though he did write, it was sir that he made rules on the paper, and therefore because of the parsha, he wrote the whole parsha because you could do that if you can. Rashi brings down you don't write four words from the Torah unless they're sir So he wrote the words in the parsha, and he did it with sir you're not supposed to write a portion of a part of a Torah. The Torah is supposed to be complete. You can't write a, a half of it, uh, you know, or several parshas or several sedras and use that to teach kids or whatever. You don't do that. The Torah is complete. So how did you do it over here? The halach is like my sutra. Why? Because here is only for the purpose of the mitzvah. Here it wasn't. Hilsarashi says my sutra. The kosum the lo dami the kosum megillah. It's not like writing a megillah. For a child to learn from the Slamiba, the Asma died to the Pasha. You wrote it for the Pasha. You're writing Pasha Kisaitzi, you're writing Pasha Shlach, whatever. You're writing it for Pasha. The Tavi can be Gilakhtana. The Kimla and Torah Chasumin, it's got it only complete. Abu Hai, Sphere's Varmu, it's just telling you what happened. But Abu Kishu says, saying, just telling you what happened. I read to her from this Pasha to this Pasha. Hilkach, El Chasikamar Zutta, Maka Mitzvah Shari. Since it's a Mitzvah to give her a Chalitza and to confirm it so that she can get remarried, it's okay to do. You're not doing it to write a Sefer Torah. <coughs> Let's say she spat, but it says and we said they have to see it. But she says it says of Shamit she spat. How does it say she's supposed to spit? in front of him, in front of his face. Let's say she spat and the wind took it away, it never passed in front of his face. No good. It's not good. Now we said before that even if they didn't spit, according to Bakiva, Khalid alone is good enough. But still, loss of it's not a spit. If you hold, you need spitting, that's not a spit. If the wind took it away before it passed in front of his face, my time, the ark of a and you have to see spitting from his face. So let's say he's tall and she's short. <coughs> so as soon as she spits, it passes in front of him. He just has to look down, it's right in front of him because she's short. And then and then the wind took it away. So you have in front of him because it passed in front of him even for a short time before the wind took it away. But let's say she's very tall and he's short. He's short. It's got to be where the spit went down in front of his face. And then the spit was taken away by the wind. So you got to be careful. If she's tall and he's short and she's spat and it never went down in front of his face, then it's not a good spit. So let's say she had right, uh, garlic and she spat. Or she ate a clot of earth. It's not spit. My time of Yorka may ask me. And you have to spit natural spit that comes out of her mouth, not the spit that's really the, the, uh, the garlic uh, particles or the clot, the clot of earth particles like the Amarava. Sriche Dayone, interesting, he doesn't say that, um, you know, there's some spit in there, like we had yesterday, right? Even though there's blood, there's some spit in there, but apparently it has to be spit that came naturally, not caused by, uh, by some outside uh, item over here. Amarava, Sriche Dayone, the Mechse Roka, the Dayanam have to see the spit, when it came out of her mouth, the sieve, la ene has of the ark. It says in front of the skanim, the ark. That's the Pasuk. The Pasuk says that the whole sanalo me araglo, the yarka the fun of, the yarka the fun of, the answer of before that, it says, the nixi of him to a love, la ene has skanim, in front of the eyes of the skanim, the whole sanalo, they have to see the removal of the shoe, the araglo, the yarka the fun of, and they have to see also the spit, the spit in front of his face. They have to see that also. Now, mitzvah b'dayon v'lo b'tamidim. Tanakama said the mitzvah is only for the dayon to say b'as chalas and all. Tanakama Rabbi Yudah said Rabbi Yudah disagreed. He said everybody has to say it. There we saw Rabbi Yudah in the Mishnah. We have it in the Brisa also. Pama chasayim yoshim tei rukhtak from sitting rukhtak from basi yivama lachlots and yivama came in to do chalitza. But Amar lanu after it was completed, anu kulcham you should all answer chalutz and all, chalutz and all, chalutz and all. Say it three times to make sure. That it's understood that she had a proper chalitza. Hanloch Mrs. Chalitza, that completes the 12th parak. Let's just see the Mishnah for tomorrow since we have a little bit of time here. 
Beishami Omrim, Eimman El Arusis. Okay, what does Mian? Mian is again when she walks away from the wedding. She's allowed to do that until the age of 12 if she had a Kedushan Drabana. Otherwise, you need to get. So Beishami says, Omi at Arusa, if he actually married her, consummated the marriage, doesn't work. Can't do that. That's not good. You someone should see him at <coughs> Element Ayerson. If all they had was Ayerson, they only gave her a ring. They said, I'm uh, It's all a Kedushan Drabana anyway. <coughs> she can walk away from it with Mian. Beisolom says, Arusa's going to sue us. No, makes them as Arusa's going to sue us. That's the whole idea that he wants to marry her. So he wants to marry her. Why do they allow it? They allow it because we don't want her to be, <coughs> to be, um, um, you know, taken advantage of. If a woman in those days didn't have somebody to care for her, so uh, they took advantage of her. So it was better that she would marry somebody and the man would take care of her. So <coughs> still, so you wanted to encourage a Nisuas also. They still says, Arusas and Nisuas, you could do me in either way, whether they were engaged or married. They shami omen, the Baal of them. Again, who can make even only an original husband? Again, the husband, it's only Kedushan Rabbana anyway. It's no Kedushan to rights, otherwise he can't do me in. Basil says, Baal Ubi of him. Interesting, what, what are we talking about here? The man <coughs> made her with the Kedushan Rabbana, he married this young girl. She's eight years old. He married her. And then he died with no children. She probably didn't have any children from, him, right, from her. Probably didn't, and he didn't have any children, period. So what is she supposed to do now? Make even. But she can even do me in on the of him also. Because it's only marriage drop on her anyway. The Mian works not only her deceased husband, if she did it when he was alive, even on the oven also. That's Basil's opinion. Bashami says no, it was only on the May of Abal, Avalon Mace for Mir and Muffle of the Oven. Any else's rush has been me and Ella Tom Tanachitaglers, he has no option. If her husband died and she's a young girl, she has to wait until she's bat mitzvah and then do chalitza. You can't uh, do it now. He says, Basil says no, you could do it even now, even when she's eight years old or six years old, whatever. Bashami Omrim, the fun of. You can only do it. The mian has to be, or chalitza has to be, she has to take off his shoe. He said that before he can't do it with a, with a, with a shliya. But over here, can she do mian? <coughs> what is mian? She says, I, I want out. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here with this old man. I don't want to stay married to this guy. The rabbi said, okay, we want to marry her off so that somebody should look after her. But if she decides at 12 years old, it's only drop on and she wants to walk away, she can walk away. Can she walk away in front of Bezin even if the husband's not there? So Basil says, Basil says, Baval, we have Mishami Om fun of who Basil Om and Fun Shlob fun of. Whether he's there or not, what are you going to say? It's only in front of him, so maybe she'll be embarrassed and she won't want to do it. She doesn't want to hurt his feelings. Basil says, No, either way, she's entitled to. Bishami Omen, the Bezdin, Basil Omer Bezin Shlob Bezin. Doesn't have to be done in front of a Bezin. It can even be done in front of, let's say, two other people, as we talked about before. How many people does that have to be done? Does that be, here it means, does that have to be a proper Bezin, a Bezin of Mumchen, or it could even be a Yotas? So he means, but Bezim Shalom Bezim means even a Yotas so also. Okay. Amun Beisul Beishamai, the man is for Iktana. She can make Mian while she's Iktana. I feel Dal Dei Pamim. Let's say her, she was a, uh, her father died. She's six years old. Everybody's busy. Her mother's working. Everybody's busy. So they marry her off to some guy. He wa she walks away from the wedding a year later. She, she can, give, they can marry her off again to somebody else. And she can walk away from that guy. You could have it several, several times. There's no limit. We're not going to consider them abandoned like this, that she gets thrown from one man to another. She can only make me in once. And then she has to wait until she gets to be a gedola to get married again. You don't let her get married again once she's a In other words, she can make me in, wait till she's a gedola, and then she makes me in again. It means she should confirm, let's say, that Mion, and then she should get married. She shouldn't get married again until she's bat mitzvah because we don't want her to have Mion more than once. These are the machlogs and Beisal Beshamai, and we'll get into the Gemara Mishnah tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody. And a good night. Good, good night. night. Take guys. care. Good morning. Good night. good night. Have a great morning. Take care. Regards, everybody. Thank you.